It's Azrael with an S, but you can call me Azrael. Recently, I've been getting back into watching people draw random cats from the clan generator. And I've been thinking about doing this for a while. I tried drawing my own clan a little while back, though I didn't really get much done. So, I'm starting over fresh with a new clan. Ty's clan. In the end, I decided to make Ty clan's logo a conch shell. Ty clan's description is morose and old-fashioned, and to emphasise that, I made its leader a bit resemblant to that title. But first, a bit of context. Titan Clan lives at the bottom of a few cliffs at a beach, residing in a giant cove. They believe their ancestors to be the smaller sharks that live in the cove alongside them. And it's not uncommon to see cats feeding the sharks there with seagulls that they've caught. And now, without further ado, let's start with their leader. Red Star is a short-haired, red, mackerel, pseudo-tabby tom with green eyes. I noticed while checking over all the cats that a lot of them had the suffix Storm. To justify this, I decided to make Red Star extremely old, and therefore forgetful. In his mind, he just likes how the word Storm sounds. The rest of the clan is a bit sick of it though. Really, he means no harm by doing this. He stays in his den most of the time, leaving his deputy to do a lot of the work. Even though one of the clan's adjectives is morose, I decided I'd make him more cheerful and upbeat instead. I did want to keep the old-fashioned part, though, so I decided that he'd be quite stuck in the past, often reminiscing on what Ty's clan once was, and often getting names muddled up with the cats he once knew. Spider Storm is a short haired, black, mackerel tabby she cat with copper eyes. When designing her, I really wanted to make her have long legs like a spider's. I also decided to make her have stripes shaped a bit like a spider's legs as well. She can be seen running around camp a lot, organising constant patrols and checking in with how everything is going. After all, she has to help Red Star a lot with daily chores around the clan. It can be hard to tell what she's thinking most of the time but she's normally slouched over with a frown on her face. She can be very defensive about Red Star, and she's extremely loyal to him, even if she is a bit concerned with his current state. Orchid Stripe is a short-haired, blue tom with amber eyes. My mind kind of went blank on this one when designing him, to be honest. There wasn't really too much information on him compared to Red Star or Spider Storm. I do like how he turned out though. He is under a lot of pressure from his clan due to how common shark and crocodile attacks are. While he may seem jittery and nervous at first, he's very good at his job as a herbalist, and definitely knows how to keep calm under pressure. He's one of the more trusted cats in Ty's clan, more so than Spider Storm or Red Star. There have been discussions on whether he should be made deputy after Red Star passes, though he doesn't really seem too interested in taking on the role of deputy. Slug Storm is a black tom with curly fur and amber eyes. For some reason, the second I saw his name, I immediately went, short little prankster man. I have absolutely no idea why I made him a munchkin cat, but I thought it would be a pretty good way to diversify him from the rest of the much more cold, closed off cats in the clan. He's the son of Red Star, so the clan is very expectant of him, but to be honest, he's rather just play pranks and chill out. Sometimes, though, he really doesn't take his duties as a warrior seriously enough, and ends up stacking off when he should be hunting. Cats in the clan often say that if it weren't for Red Star's nepotism, he would have been kicked out by now.
Tansy Flower is a cream, mackerel, pseudo tabby she cat with short fur and green eyes. I'm not completely sure on what I was going for with her design. I kind of blanked out again with it. She's definitely one of the more snarky, hostile cats in Tice Clan. She prides herself on her appearance mainly, but she's an excellent fighter too. She shows a lot of disdain for a lot of the other cats in the clan, and is one of Red Star and Spider Storm's most vocal adversaries. Tansy Flower is also one of the main sources of gossip within the clan. Not only this, but she spreads lies alongside the truth. It's hard to be able to completely trust Tansy Flower, or to really know whether she's telling the truth or not. Night Ear is a short haired black mackerel tabby tom with copper eyes. Night Ear is the brother of Slugstorm, but unlike his brother, he's much more ambitious and unfriendly. He values work more than fun, and he may seem to be disdainful of Slugstorm at a glance. Really though, he's very sweet with his brother, even if he does wish that he took his task more seriously. Many cats in the clan see him as the next candidate for deputy due to his devil headedness though many cats dislike him due to his seemingly apathetic nature. Travel Blaze is your short hairs, chocolate and red mackerel calico she cats with yellow eyes. She is the sister of Tansy Flower, though the two seem to have a massive rivalry with each other, and are both seemingly very bitter towards each other. Travel Blaze is a curious warrior, constantly getting up into trouble. Her ears and tail are completely torn, though when asked about it, she seems to close up a lot. Travel Blaze can often be observed padding around the territory, digging up beneath trees or staring out at the horizon with a wistful, longing look on her face. Travel Blaze is one of the most disrespected warriors in Ty's clan, and many of the cats just wish that she'd be kicked out. She's best friend with Slugstorm, though. Black Whisker is a black she-cat with short fur and hazel eyes. There are a lot of black cats in this clan. I imagine Black Whisker to be best frenemies with Tandy Flower, and they will often compare appearances while giving each other tips on how to improve the other's pelt. Black Whisker is one of the best hunters in the clan, something she prides herself on quite a bit. Paired with Tandy Flower, she and her are some of the best warriors in the clan. She can be quite harsh though and from time to time she will occasionally glare at another cat for no apparent reason. Squirrel Nose is a blue tom with short fur and green eyes. He's the brother of the medicine cat, Orchid Stripe. To be honest, I completely disregarded short fur in favour of a big, fluffy tail. He has massive eyes and can often be seen with his eyes glowing in the dark at moon high. He has an excellent sense of hearing and sight, making him an excellent guard to put just at the entrance of camp. He's rather quiet, keeping to himself a lot of the time, and he speaks with entirely correct grammar, rarely ever stuttering over his words. It can be quite unnerving at times. Crowpaw is a black and red classic tortoiseshell tabby she-cat with short fur and gold eyes. Onto the apprentices. If I were to write a story with Ty's clan, which I do plan to at some point, Crowpaw would definitely be the protagonist. Like an actual crow, 
She's extremely curious and intelligent for her age. She siblings with Slugstorm and Nighter, and so her father is Redstar. Her mentor is Travel Blaze, someone who greatly encourages her curious side. Crowpaw is an excellent climber, and she can climb up the side of the cliff as fast as a squirrel up a tree. Hollypaw is a white she-cat with short fur and amber eyes. I decided to give her eyes a little bit of purple tint just to make her stand out more. She's very cold to everyone around her, disregarding all attempts to talk to her with a hiss or a threat. She has noticed that Crowpaw seems to try to talk to her a lot, something that both irritates and amuses her. Her mentor is Tandyflower, though it doesn't seem as though Hollypaw is too attached to her one way or another. Hollypaw can often be observed walking alongside the very edge of the Titan border, staring out at the mountains with narrowed eyes. Mistletoepaw is a white tom with long fur and blue eyes. He's the brother of Hollypaw and the Medicine Cat Apprentice. Much like his mentor, Orchid Stripe, he's seemingly quite jittery and nervous, though much more inexperienced at controlling his emotions. From time to time, he may be seen at the edge of camp just crying. Only Hollypaw and Orchid Stripe can calm him down. He's very quiet most of the time, and quite a people pleaser. He has a very strong bond with his sister, despite their obvious differences in appearance and demeanour. Sleet's Clouds is a short hairs blue, mackerel tabby she cat with gold eyes. Sleet's Clouds is the mother of Hollypaw and Mistletoepaw, though she only has a good relationship with the latter, unfortunately. Her kids were born to a loner, of whom Sleet Cloud doesn't like talking about too much. Now she's pregnant with Squirrel Nose's kids. And while Mistletoepaw is quite enthusiastic to accept Squirrel Nose as his new father, Hollypaw is much more rebellious about it. Sleek Cloud just wants her entire family to get along, really, but she's finding it more and more difficult by the day. Cootstorm is a black she-cat with long fur and copper eyes. She's the mate of Redstar and the mother of Slugstorm, Nightear and Crowpaw. I decided to give her a little white nose patch, like a, like a coot beak. She's only recently retired to the Elder's Den after an incident on patrol in which she lost her balance and was swept into the tide where she was attacked by a saltwater crocodile. She was lucky to escape relatively unharmed, aside from part of her face being permanently scarred and her tail being lost. Cootstorm is extremely unhappy with her current predicament and makes it well known by snapping at any cat who tries to give her prey or herbs. Garlic Stone is a short haired white she cat with a blue and cream mackerel calico tabby tail and ears with the amber eyes. Garlic Stone is the oldest cat in the clan, being the mother of Sleet's Clouds and by extension the grandmother of Hollypaw and Mistletoepaw. She's completely blind and completely deaf, but she's a bit like the entire clan's mother. She's a very comforting presence to be around, no matter who the cat is. And that's Ty's clan! I really enjoyed drawing this clan, and I do hope to make more content of them in the future. I hope you enjoyed this video, it's pretty different from my usual content, but depending on how this video does, I might make more like it. 
In any case, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye!